Okay. For the previous examples, we had been using calculating the cell potential of everything at standard conditions, which means that all the concentrations are at one molar or all the pressures are at one atmosphere, and we used the reduction potential table, which are assuming that everything is at standard conditions. Now we need to know what happens if they're not at standard conditions. So the way to interpret this is we have an iron electrode in a 0 0.01 molar iron solution. So this is significantly lower than one molar. And then we have a copper two and a copper one solution, kind of like we saw in the previous example, but this is at three molar and this is only at 0.4 and we still have a platinum electrode. So the, the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna use something called the Nernst equation. The equation doesn't look all that horrifying. So it's essentially, this is at non-standard conditions and then we're solving for it at standard conditions. And the equation looks a little weird, but it's not terrible. It's essentially a bunch of constants collapsed down together. So it's 0 0.0592 volts divided by N, which is the same N that we had in the previous set of problems. It's the least common multiple between the amount of electrons being transferred times the log of Q. We haven't seen Q before, but we kind of sort of have. It's just like KEQ, so it's products over reactants raised to the coefficients. All the concentrations are in terms of molarity, all the pressures are in terms of atmospheres, but not at equilibrium. Solving for Q is actually kind of the hard part of the problem. So, first things first. Let's kind of look at how to interpret this as a reaction. Essentially, this is one half reaction and this is the other. So this is a reactant. Sorry, I'm trying to get my camera so you can see. Reactant product. And then on this side, this is a different half reaction. This is a reactant. And this is a product. And essentially what we need to do is do that whole balancing thing, balancing of a balancing of a redox reaction or half reaction conditions, except we already have the half reactions and they're already balanced. We don't actually have to go through all the same amount of legwork. We can just do it like this. So essentially what we're going to do is first thing I'm going to solve for this standard conditions. So that's just taking the right side cell potential minus the left. I'm gonna switch colors a lot here, sorry. So this copper one, if it was at standard conditions, we saw this in the previous problem. Um, I just lost it. There we go. Um, copper two plus, or sorry, copper two plus plus an electron forms copper plus and it's positive 0.15. So at standard conditions, this is positive 0.15 volts. Now we need to find this one. So what we have is iron and iron two plus. So if we look up here, we have iron two plus, two electrons, iron solid, and it's negative 0.44 volts. So at standard conditions, we would take this minus this, and it comes out to be, that's what we're solving for is E. E at standard conditions would be positive 0.59 uh, volts, okay? Minus 0 0.0592 divided by N. If you looked on the equations on the reduction potential table, this has one electron being transferred, this has two, so n is gonna be two. It's not two every time, like in the previous problem it was two and it's two now. It's just coincidence that these happen to both be two. Okay, and then solving for the log of q. q is going to be the hard part. So before we can even do q, we need to write out the balanced equation. So. Since this has two electrons being transferred and this has one electron being transferred, we're going to have to double all of this. Okay, just like we did in the balancing stuff in the previous, the first couple videos. Okay, so 
reactants, reactants, and these are all going to be doubled. We're ignoring the platinum, it's just an electrode. So it's going to be iron solid plus 2 copper 2 plus, which I'm going to just write it as 3 molar just to keep track, in a reaction with, this is a product, iron 2 plus, which is at 0 0.01 molar, plus copper plus 1, which is at 0 0.40 molar. So, what we're going to do now is just pretend like this is KEQ. You're going to write products over reactants. Oh, yes, it's got a 2 in the front. Products over reactants raised to the coefficients. Okay, so these are the products. These are the reactants. This is a solid. We can ignore that. So the products, this is going to be 0 0.01 molar. This is going to be times 0 0.40 molar, and that's going to be squared because we had to double the copper reaction and then divide it by 3.0 molar squared. Okay, so let's plug everything in and see what we get. So this balancing part was just so that we knew what the coefficients were in our products over reactants, KEQ or Q thing, okay? So plugging everything in, our standard voltage was 0.59 minus 0 0.0592 divided by 2. I guess I probably need to put parentheses around some of that. Times the log of 0 0.01 times 0 0.40 squared divided by 3.0 squared. Okay, I got an answer of 0 0.70, because we only get two sig figs here. So, E comes out to be 0 0.70 volts. So if we were at standard conditions, this would have been, this would have been 0.59, but because <laughs> this was a higher concentration and these were lower concentrations than 0.1. We got a voltage of 0.7.